Well, hello everybody. Today I'm out of my parents' place and I'm gonna be checking on the trails. I haven't been out here in about a month or two, so I'm assuming it's pretty overgrown down there and I'm gonna to have to do some weed whacking and some trimming. Today's plan is uh, to have Jaden swing by with his DS450. Hopefully we can uh, maybe maybe finish up the trail that I had been working on. I built a little jump the last time I was out here. I just wanna do some maintenance and get things cleaned up. So before I head down there, I just wanted to give a shout out to my local Yamaha dealer, Star Cycle. After my Silver Lake trip, I brought the wheeler down there just for a full inspection, and you'll see in my last Silver Lake video, I did clip a stump pretty bad and actually jacked the alignment on the wheeler. So they did the alignment for me. So we got about 70 hours on this thing. It's just been smooth sailing, oil changes, valves were checked, things are good. So if you're in southern Minnesota or even just looking for a place to have your machine serviced, definitely think about stopping at Star Cycle Yamaha because they're a wealth of knowledge and they definitely know what they're doing down there. Let's see what the woods looks like. Nobody's been down here in a while. Well, looks about what I expected down here. Needs to be ridden. Oh man, it's overgrown. Let's go down the downhill here. So last time I was here, I had a clear trail so you could go this way, which should all be clear. The ground should be clear, just needs to be trimmed. Oh yeah, you can't see anything here. This is all new though, it's never been ridden. Here's the jump I dug out. Around here, up and over. This died and fell over. There we go. It's actually not too bad down here. It's about 90 for a high today. tree gods have blessed me with no major trees down from what I can see so far. Trail needs to be ridden and things need to be weed whacked. Time is money so I'm gonna go get the weed whacker. So we didn't make it to the top. We got this trimmed all the way. And it's like got another 20 feet to go and we are there, but it is too hot and we are done. So we will pick up the next time we come out.
All right, it is the next day. I'm on my way down into the woods to ride the new climb for the first time. So we're going to ride the new section, instead of going left there we go straight. Man that's got a decent pop to it. I love these S turns I put in, super fun. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's totally worth the addition. Sneak up here, let's drive up the old climb real quick. Pretty rutted. Oh, it's still fun though. All right, let's head down. Okay, here we go, first round. I'm gonna just keep it in second gear and up we go. <laughs> oh, the turnaround space is perfect. I thought of that right before I left last night. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that again. That was pretty fun. Because of those S turns, they're really fun. All right, well, it was a pretty successful day down here. The rain's coming in, so it's time to get going, but I feel like I got a fair amount of shots down here today with the cameras. If you guys like these time-lapse videos, just let me know down below. I'm not exactly looking to make a ton of them, but they're kind of fun to throw up every other month or so. I mean, something different. I'm just trying to keep it fresh on the channel so it's not always the same thing. I'm all loaded up. I got to go clean this thing up and get ready for tomorrow's ride. Tomorrow I get to go down to Iowa to rip with a few guys I rode with earlier this year. So I'm super excited about that. Apparently their trails are ready to go and it should be a pretty awesome day. We may even ride Saturday too. And then if the weather holds off, Sunday I'll be ripping with Chad and his TRX and hopefully a few new people up at Appleton. 
So it should be a good weekend as long as the weather does what it's supposed to do. I'm excited to film everything. I haven't been riding much since my Silver Lake trip, so it's good to get back on the quad. And the heat finally kind of left. It cooled down a little bit, so we'll make the best of it. But I'm excited to take you guys along this weekend on all these rides. So there'll be some videos that'll come out in the next month or so. And then also, for those of you that made it to the end of the video, the Raptor is getting a graphics kit hopefully next week. And I'll be getting a video of that as soon as I can. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. So stay tuned and there'll be some good stuff coming up and you guys have a good one and as always thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time